Hello guys, I will talk about uh, the reading part here, like how to, a few just strategies. First of all, as I have written it, don't go straight for the right option. Exclude the wrong ones first. It's very very important. Okay, like uh, you have to exclude the wrong ones first. Exclude the wrong ones. The second and most important thing is, like, uh, don't, don't read these the all questions first. Don't read this one first. Okay, read the statement. Read the statement. As you know, like, uh, there are twenty-two questions and forty-five minutes. That's like one and a half minute for you. Oh, two minutes for you. We can divide it into two. 30 seconds and one and a half minute. You can use one and a half minute to go through the statement like thoroughly. I try to understand it. So don't just try to read every word, you know. Obviously, you are going to read the word. You have to make the sense out of it. And then 30 seconds are enough for you to read the questions and click the right options. What I mean by this is that like you can spend 90 seconds on this like read it and the most important thing is make sense of it sense of it like what is the person trying to say here usually the sense can be read from this but don't just go for it when you have made some sense from it, then read the question. The, the paper B and C are all about this. They are not about your reading speed or something like that. So 90 seconds are more than enough. And while you are reading it, like for example, I am reading this. So I can underline some things which can be useful. Like for example, like he is talking about electromagnetic interference and this can result in incorrect operation and potentially unsafe okay okay this here is important like two things one thing the level of immunity and two thing the level of emissions and just like they have said this medical device with both immunity and emissions that's it. Yeah. Care should be taken to avoid the user monitor within 7 meters. That's important. The cell phones or other device generating strong. So, uh, try to make some sense out of it. First, they have in like... Uh, oh, shit. Like from here to here, they are just talking generally. But in the last statement, they are talking very specifically. What are, what are they trying to say here? They are trying to say that the BP operators should not be used in close proximity of other cell phones and devices. Why? Because there can be emissions and there can be immunity. And this all this detail is about the guideline or why this is necessary. But the main information is uh, like in the last line where he is specifically talking about the BP operators. And what is he saying? He is saying that don't use it. So that's the sense out of it. Now we are going to go for the question and when you are on the question, what are we going to do? We are going to exclude the wrong ones first. Like for example, the manual informs us that the blood pressure monitor, okay, that's it. What is going, is likely to interfere with the operation of other medical equipment. That can be probably true, okay. May not work correctly in the proximity, that can be true. Should be considered safety using all, okay, that's absolutely wrong. So we are going to, you know. If you're on computer you can strike it through if you're on paper you can just mark across now we have to you know differentiate between these two now we immediately know that this information is in the last two lines we're going to come back here what's you you have while you're doing this you have to look here and here and here and, here and just try to make some sense like care should be taken to avoid the use of monitor within seven meters like he's talking about the use of monitor okay bp monitor he's talking about the use of bp monitoring so what is he saying in the fact is likely to interfere with the operation of other medical devices okay what is he saying but he's saying 
that the other devices are generating strong electrical magnet not this monitor other devices so what we are understanding here is that these devices are probably interfering so this is probably wrong and then we go may not work correctly in the proximity of the so this seems to be the right one so we're going to click so that's the way to do it now why i am you should so when you have done it probably in the end you will have some time so when you have time come back here and review the options and when you're reviewing it you know that these there were two options which you had to consider so you can just correctly uh, you know uh, just go through these two options you don't have to consider the third one that is going to save you some time obviously you have underlined the last two lines that the information is here that will help you in the review okay that is very important that it saves you time and you can review the options and let's go to the part c in part c use the same strategy that read the paragraph first okay and then go for the question that's an important thing okay it's especially important when you're reading the la large paragraphs what do you have you have like 90 seconds for this that's pretty that's a lot of time you know so like millions of people suffer from So what is she saying that the sleep is causing problems which problems here they are like these problems and that's an important point that the study we've done every variable was affected okay here are a few important things whenever they are talking about studies in this OET test there are a few things they are talking about like first do they agree If not, then why don't they agree? These two things are frequently asked. So whenever there is a study involved or they are mentioning some studies, just look for this, quickly look for this, okay? This is such a, every time you sleep, deprive us of things go wrong, okay? Quoted. Now let's go to the question. The writer uses so though like verse, so the, it means that the quoted uh, line was important. So you know, quickly go back to the and read it again. Things go wrong. That's it. Like explain the main cause of sleep deprivation. No, that statement does not explain that. Reinforce a view about the impact of sleep. Yeah, that can be true. Question some research finding about sleep. No, we know that the she says that the studies like she totally agrees with the study so that is 100% true that is also 100% true because she she totally agrees with the study she has no so this automatically comes out true so you just click it so uh, most uh, in the part C they ask about a lot of research based questions like uh, why are they agreeing to the research are they not agreeing to the research what do they question what do they object so when you are practicing focus on these research related questions like for example related to research you have these three questions you know like uh, sorry these two questions like uh, some uh, findings about questioning some findings like describe the challenges involved in the research so when you're going through the practice make the list of such questions and whenever you come across part where the research is mentioned quickly just go uh, through these things like uh, is she questioning some part about the research is there some difficulty in conducting the research is there a specific point which she does not agree on when you do this again and again you will immediately build a reflex to you know just uh, quickly go through this and it will help you a lot so i guess that's uh, the, all about uh, the research uh, the reading part of the research uh, so reading part of the oit if you have any more questions you can ask me in the comment i hope it helps and yeah in the end if you get the time always review and when you are reviewing you will uh, definitely have an option like uh, you would know for example you have crossed these two so you will have to think about these two and when you are reading this you must underline few important things which you knew that on the basis of these underlying things you chose the right question answer so when you are reviewing you know where to focus and where not to focus I hope it helps.